everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSysStamp.com and I have another journal entry and this one I've titled Find Comfort in Today. To get this started I have the 110 pound weight and this is a Simon Says Stamp white cardstock. I wanted a little bit heavier um, paper to work with and what I've done is I have a sheet, this is Prima paper, it's A4 pad, so it's nice and long, it fits the length of my um, journal page. And I really just like this paper to start off with the background, it's got just a lot of pretty uh, distressed looking stuff, which would be kind of um, fun to make on your own, but hey, I'm going to do this really quick, so I'm just going to use this paper. It's got the colors that I want to work with. So what I'm going to do is attach this to my background paper and I'm going to use soft matte gel. This is also from Prima and it's their Art Basics. So what I want to do is get a nice heavy coat on my paper here to make sure I have it completely covered and I'm going to use my palette knife to get going. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to speed this up during this process and you can see me put down the medium, I'm going to put the paper down, and then I'm going to smooth everything out. And uh, after that, I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to get this going. Okay, I have this completely dry now, um, and it, one way you can tell it's dry is that it's no longer cold, so that means that the medium in the layers has um, dried out. Um, one of the things I do when it's drying is I press on both sides because paper has grain, so if you press too much on this side, it's going to curl up that way. So I always like flip it over and press it on the other side too, and that's how I'm able to keep this really, really good and flat. Okay, so the next thing I'm do, I want to do is, I haven't tried this yet in an art journal, and I wanted to do some transfers. So what I have is I had a Midwest Living uh, magazine, had lots of fall colors, and right now it's definitely fall outside, and when I do these journals I like to, actually I'm inspired by what's around me. But what I want to do is to do some transfers, so I thought some of these colors might look really pretty on here. Um, these are just leaves and fall. I'm not looking to get the entire leaf pattern or the tree pattern. I'm just going to look to get some color on here. So I'm going to use a brush. and It seems really stiff right now. Maybe I just kind of press it out. Um, so I'm just going to add some of this medium on here.
next thing I'm going to do is add some washi tape and then I'm going to seal everything up with my matte medium. And I don't know if you can hear that train going by, but I definitely have a train going by. Um, I'm just going to act, or add this washi tape just to get a few more words in here. Then seal it with my matte medium and then I can get back to the next step. in there now. Um, so my uh, washi tapes are sealed and so now it's it's got a full coating of the gel medium. Um, I don't know if you remember a few months ago I told you about clear gesso. Um, this clear gesso is going to kind of turn this back into paper again. So the finish that it gives it has the ability that my stains and distress paints, or my distress stains and distress inks um, will stick to it. So it's clear, it starts off white, but I'm going to go ahead and coat the whole thing and then I can use other stains and other distress inks on top so I can use my stencils. Okay, so this is all dry and it's ready to accept some stains and I'm just going to use like some bold letters and just do a few things. Um, and the stain that I'm going to use is tea dye. I'm going to bring this down so I don't make a huge mess. Before I go on to my next step, I wanted to show you where my efforts have brought me. So this is what the paper looked like before. And I think my additions have really added to it. Uh, I think that these transfers really added to the same feel as what it had before, but it's so much richer. Um, so what I want to do next is I'm going to stamp this little bird, and this is the Dina Wakely uh, Scribble Birds, I believe. Yep, Scribbly Birds. And I'm going to stamp these with potting soil, and then I'm going to be watercoloring them with my distressed um, spray stains.
Okay, so I'm at the putting everything together stage, and so I have my branches that I cut from the Tim Holtz die, and I've just used some book text. I've also cut some hearts out with a Simon Says Stamp die, and this will be in the supply list on the blog post. With those little hearts, I kind of painted them with um, some of the stain, and then I used Tim Holtz chit chat words, and kind of added a little bit of paint and some distress inks around the edges. My bird came out really nicely. So now I'm going to start putting everything together and I'll end up putting my title on and I'm going to speed this up and here we go.